Okay, we're going to have a look at this news article in your blog at the moment. Poodle puppies, exciting news from Reapmoor dogs and the Merlesque stud. You can see here that the layout is a bit wiggly, that it's due to the way these images are, are put in there, and it, it will change depending on the on the screen size. But you can see that the the subtitle and Peggy's picture, the prospects, charming party, party poodles. It doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to show you um, what we can do about that and explain some of the limitations of the editor. So I'm just going to switch to editing that post. I've already opened it. So you can see it here. And obviously, it looks different again in the editor. Um, so when you put an image into here, you put it at the, at the cursor position. And then from the menu, you would go add media. And you can select an image and insert it into the post. So you can see there we have an extra image. Now, it looks as though when you view that content, th there'll be a big gap there. And well, let's just see what it looks like. So we'll just click update. That's updated, and we'll just go to the particular page and do a refresh on that. So, okay, so that that looks a that looks a little bit better actually, but the problems start to arise when you're looking at it on different screen sizes. You know, if you're on a tablet or a or a mobile, it doesn't always look good. So, probably the best thing to do is in the editor, rather than including these three images like this, I'm just going to get rid of them by clicking on the cross. I'm going to include them as a gallery, but underneath this first sentence so I'm going to push enter and now when I do add media we've got the option to create a gallery okay so I'm just going to search for Yogi there's a picture of Yogi I'll just click on create gallery add to gallery or Peggy So any one of those will do. Oh, see that one's 750 by 1334 pixels. So that look look a bit funny if that one's not being resized. But I'll pick one of the ones that's 500 by 500 just to keep it consistent. Okay, we'll add that one to the gallery. Um, just get rid of the ones that I don't want. Okay, so the two images in the gallery, and then we just do insert gallery. Okay. And you can see there the gallery is directly underneath it. We can set how many columns. So as there are only two images, I'm just going to change the columns there to two. Okay, and it says size thumbnail. We can do medium or large. Let's see what medium looks like. We'll do update gallery. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Click update there. And now let's go back and have a look at the page. We'll just do a refresh. Okay. So that's not ideal. Let's edit the post. Let's make, edit that gallery again. Let's go to thumbnail. Update gallery. Update the page. Ref 
refresh the page. Okay, so we've we've got a problem here. I mean, it does look a little bit better, but it's not putting them side by side. So we we just haven't got that kind of control. Let's try it without the gallery. You can see it's a little bit fiddly when we do it this way, but we'll do. Let's see if we can do it this way. So we'll push enter. We'll do add media, and instead of a gallery, we'll just add one image. So we'll have Yogi. There's that one. That's a 500 by 500. In insert into post. Right. Okay. So we can see here that the alignment. There's no alignment there. Um, we'll set it to align center. And let's see if we can stick another image immediately after it. So we'll do add media search for Peggy that's the 500 501 inserting to post align center on that one and I've just put my cursor I don't know if you can see it flashing there I'm just going to push now push delete that didn't work control Z let's click update again what I'm trying to do is to get these images next to each other and I don't think this is going to be easily possible with the standard editor it's really only designed for maybe the odd image followed by some text and the odd image So that still looks a bit odd. We want, really wanted them next to each other. And it doesn't look as though we're going to be able to do that. Let's try a line left on that one. Oh, OK. And on this one, let's also do a line left on that one. Let's update again. So it's... A, case of a bit of trial and error really we'll go back and refresh see whether those are displaying next to each other now right okay so they are displaying next to each other but we've we've got that problem again there so what we need to do is to go back and just before where it says the prospects push enter so that there's a new line and let's see whether updating that sorts that out. Refresh. And it's not it's not going to do that. Um, let's just change the alignment on this from left to right. And then update. Back to the post, refresh. Okay, so we're just not having any luck with this. So if you're wanting two images next to each other, there's two ways you can do it. You can either create a new image which incorporates the two images, or you can use the Elementor editor. And we're going to look at the Elementor editor now. That's what I've used for most of the page layouts. We get much more control. Unfortunately, um, it's a little bit more complicated to use. So if you're not too worried about having images next to each other and you just want an image after a paragraph, then another paragraph and an image under that. So if we did it this way, for example, let's just take that Peggy one out of there. Um, so say if I wanted an image after that paragraph there, add media, let's find Peggy again. Set it on a left align, 
update. Okay, so that, that looks that looks a bit better actually. You can get away with that. So it's just a case of fiddling about. Um, so that doesn't look too bad. But I'm actually going to edit this one in Elementor to get a much better layout on that. I'm going to create part two to this video. So this was part one using the standard editor, having to fiddle about quite a lot to to get some kind of layout that that works. So I'm going to stop the video here and do a part two in just a moment.